Hey there, Mansfield Music students. It's Miss Smallage again. I'm going to teach you today about the trombone. But there's something that doesn't look quite right about this trombone. We actually have to put it together. I'll bring you down here so you can see how I do that. So it comes in two parts, and you have to attach the two parts together, and they make like the letter L or the number seven. It's definitely a right angle and you want them connected tightly so that they don't wiggle. And then the other cool thing about the trombone is that it has a lock key. So right here I have to turn this and now it allows the slide to move. If I have it in the locked position the slide won't move at all even with gravity pulling on it because we don't want our slide to fall off and then playing across the floor. That would be bad. So now I'm going to show you how um, we have to give our slide a little bit of a shower. Because if our slide is not moving in a nice smooth way, then it's um, not good for our slide and also just very frustrating to play. So we get a little spray bottle of water and you just give your slide a little bath. This is just a mini bath. If you were going to give your slide a whole bath, you would have to take the whole slide off and then use what's called, a, use a rag to wipe it all off and then use something called slide cream. And you actually put that on just like a little bit of lotion or chapstick right onto the slide and then you spray the water. So that's kind of a fun thing to see how you take good care of your slide when you play the trombone. Now it looks like a trombone because we put it all together. Here's the mouthpiece, way bigger than the French horn and the trumpet, similar to the euphonium. Goes right over our lips, underneath our nose. McDonald had a farm and I think we were singing about ducks because I sounded like a duck. Now I put the mouthpiece into the lead pipe and now what I'll do is I'll change the position of the slide. Position one, two, three is right across from the bell here. I can reach out and touch the bell. Four, five, six, and seven. So there's seven positions and as you change the slide that changes the pitch. Of course, I'm also changing the muscles and the air, the muscles of my lips, as I go higher or lower. Let me just play a scale so you can see that. Now, low notes are not always down here, and high notes are not always up here, like on the string instruments. It changes, but where the control is, is here in your lips. from your listening lessons. This is the Surprise Symphony by Franz Joseph Haydn. Alright, so I hope that 
gives you an idea of how to play the trombone, don't worry about um, getting your hands to the right position and being able to reach to slide position six and seven. You don't have to go too far for that. And your body grows into the trombone and your hands get accustomed to holding it in that position. Just like you get accustomed to holding a vi vi viola or violin on your um, collarbone and your shoulder. Um, so eventually it becomes much uh, more comfortable. And as always, there's a spit valve at the end and you get to blow out your spit, which is a fun part of playing all the brass instruments. Okay, everyone, I hope this gives you a little more understanding about the trombone and maybe you'll consider playing it in fourth grade. Have a great day.